All right, so how did the offseason just go overall for you individually and with the team? Overall, um, I said we started off a little slow, but as the fall and uh, pre-spring came along, really got better. Uh, you know, I've been working with Coach Scott on a few things, and you know, I came in a little rusty, but over the long fall and short pre-spring, I definitely get improved. And I'd say that's the same with the rest of our pitching staff as well. Uh, what did you work on this offseason just to get better at on the mound? Um, arm strength and mechanics. There were a few mechanical issues that I was personally working on that I overcame. Uh, and then arm strength as well, long tossing a lot, uh, you know, a few times a week, if not every day, mm -hmm. and really get that arm strength up there. How did you train for that? Did you play in a summer league? Did you do anything different in the fall? Um, I did not play in a summer league. I took the summer off, actually. Uh, but I think that helped because I threw a lot last year um, at the junior college I was at. So uh, I think the rest helped a lot. And, you know, I lifted and I came in ready and prepared to uh, perform in the fall. Uh, you mentioned, I guess, you transferred into the program. Uh, what appealed to you here at, to, to come to Georgia State and to come back to the metro Atlanta area? Uh, it's home. Uh, it's, I live about 45 minutes away, so home's always nice. Uh, parents can come out and watch me. Uh, you know, the program did pretty well last year. That was uh, appealing to me, as well as the pitching coach, uh, Coach Scott. He, uh, you know, he had some good things to say on my recruiting visit. So, you know, I liked what he stands for. I liked what the Panthers are doing here. And uh, I think that's what really made me come here. Yeah, discuss being a part of a pitching staff, just for those who aren't familiar with it. Obviously, you have your own individual work, but you also work as a unit, I guess, with the other pitchers. Sure. Discuss those responsibilities and how you guys help each other out throwing and on non-throwing days. So uh, we have starters and relievers. And, you know, pitching is very schedule-based because starters, you know, they pitch once a week. And relievers, you know, they throw every day. So being a starter, you know, you have a very select schedule. You lift certain days, you throw certain days, you take off certain days. So it's very, very structured. Uh, but, you know, as a pitching staff, we all work together. You know, we all want to do well. We cheer for each other, um, you know, root for each other. And, you know, really excited about this season starting up so we can watch everyone perform at the top level. Talk to Coach earlier. He, he does have a, maybe some starters I like to see in a set staff. But he also about relievers possibly becoming starters and the other way around. Where do you see your role on the team kind of starting off and maybe eventually becoming? Um, well, I was told that I am going to be starting on Sunday. So that will be awesome. But the good thing about our team, is that we have a lot of relievers that can start and a lot of starters that can relieve. So it keeps it very competitive and you know keeps pitchers on their toes. You never know, you know, who can take somebody else's spot or you know you always gotta be on your on your A game. Okay.